You can grow your natural hair long even if you've never had long hair before. In today's video, I go over some of the top practices that has gotten me to almost wasting hair. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. Welcome and welcome back to all my new and returning subscribers. I really appreciate each and every one of you stopping by my channel, checking out my content, leaving me a comment, subscribing. Really, really means a whole lot to me. Thank you so, so much. So as you all know, I've never had long hair before and this channel is just charting my natural hair growth journey. I've provided tons of video on my channel showing you my hair at the start. So I'm going to just be doing some more pictorials for you and talking you through some of the practices that has helped me to grow my hair to almost waist length. So the very first thing I do is I handle my hair very, very gentle. I've been told that my regimen is more like loose locks where if I take my hair down, for example, from braids or from twists, my go-to is not the comb. So I'm very gentle in the way I handle my hair strands. I'm very gentle in the way I handle my scalp. That's also because I'm tender-headed. But being very gentle with your hair will allow you to retain a lot of length and grow your natural hair out. So the next hair practice that's allowed me to grow my natural hair that's never been long before to almost waist length is moisture. Now I talk so much about on my channel that moisture doesn't have to be some expensive conditioner but simply water. I make sure that my hair is well moisturised through putting water in it almost every day and also sealing that water in. So the key to length retention to having the hair on your head is water making sure that your hair is moisturized that's a practice that's allowed me to grow my hair to almost a waist length now, as you all know my hair is currently in mini braids and so this footage was taken about eight months ago so i'm expecting that my hair is even a bit longer than this the next hair practice that's allowed me to grow my natural hair out is low manipulation as stated before my hair is currently in mini braids sometimes in mini twists but always a low manipulation my hands is not always in my hair changing the styles is always allowed to stay by itself and grow and that's the way i retain the most length observing my hair over the years so my hair is constantly being protective style and in that way it's low manipulation i'm not always combing through my hair i'm not always styling my hair but i'm allowing my hair to grow all by itself Next up is protecting my hair from the elements. So for example, if I'm sleeping, the elements then is my cotton sheet or any other fabrics that can damage my hair. So my go-to is head scarves. I wear head scarves also in the summer months to protect my hair from the elements, which is the sunshine. I wear it in winter to protect it from the cold. So covering my hair to protect it from anything that might be damaging, rubbing up against my hair has allowed my hair to grow to be almost waist length. Please do go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a like and also switch your notification bell on so that you know when I post new videos. So the next hair practice that has allowed me to reach almost a waist length is staying away from chemicals such as relaxing my hair, text, text laxing my hair, texturizing my hair or any keratin treatment or anything like that that will alter the bonds in my hair and weaken my hair. I have had processes in my hair done before and they have caused damage. So now I stay completely away from any chemical that will damage my hair because I'm trying to grow my hair out and I don't want to weaken the strands. On the other hand, I've learned DIY Urveda products to help to strengthen my hair, such as henna. So I currently henna my hair at least four times a year and add fenugreek and other moisturizing natural ingredients into my hair to go into my hair strand to strengthen my hair. So that's another practice that's allowed my hair to almost be waist length. I do want to signpost you at the moment to my playlist section of my channel. That section of my channel has got lots of videos geared towards growing your natural hair. I've sectioned them for you so that you can find where you're going quite quickly. So I've got the how to grow your natural hair in 2022. That's a whole playlist geared towards growing your natural hair. Also my challenges, my mini braids challenge, my mini twist challenges and just general hair care tips. Do check that out also for all my DIY recipe mixes. Let's get back to the video. So the next hair practice that's really helped me to grow my natural hair out or just to deal with my natural hair so that I can grow out is dealing with my hair in section. Now I've sort of slipped away from this and it's something that I need to go back to. As you all know and I've got a new updated video 
called getting to know my natural hair once my hair is loose my hair has got different textures all over different porosities it just looks different in different sections my nape is different to the front for example so dealing with your hair washing your hair in section plaiting your hair in section drying it in sections may help you as it has helped me to deal with different sections of your hair in different ways catering to different sections you know the bits that's 4c the bits that that's tightly coiled um uh, or looser coiled you're able to see those bits if you do section out your hair to deal with it so the areas that i struggle the most with in my natural hair journey or my natural hair journey is my edges and my nape or well, my edges more than my nape and so hair practices that really allowed me to have hair in those sections is to really pay attention to those sections sometimes you might be soaping your face and those products will get onto your hair so there's probably harsh other harsh products that's getting onto that perhaps there's build up there so i'm paying close attention to my edges treating with castor oil and other ingredients to help to boost it as well as growth aids such as virgin hair fertilizer so really paying attention to my nape and my uh, my edges more than the rest of my hair has really helped to grow my natural hair out and perhaps it could help you too I do want to say if you've just started on your natural hair journey, do not be discouraged. My natural hair journey is my natural hair journey. It's been a journey since 2007, so it's been a very, very long time to even get my hair to look this healthy. Your natural hair journey is, is simply that. If you're just starting, do check out all my videos on how to grow your natural hair from a big chop to air length and then air length and beyond. So I've got lots of channel gear towards if you're just growing your natural hair out. Set your expectations. Uh, towards your own natural hair rather than mine and every hair is unique the practices that I give is for general hair uh, it doesn't have to look like mine at all however do set your expectations based on your own hair and be encouraged that you can grow your natural hair out to any length that you would like with some good hair practices what I tend to do often as a hair practice is also to tuck my ends uh, under if I'm wearing my hair in twists or even in my mini braids as they are at the moment I wouldn't just wear my ponytail down I would still tuck that under and that's because my hair would be rubbing on lots of fabrics and so by tucking it away I'm adding an extra level of protection for my ends if my ends break off then I won't see length retention so I've got to focus on my ends in order to retain length on my hair so another hair practice is to tuck my hair away And finally, I clarify my hair. I make sure that my scalp is clean by clarifying my hair. Now, clarifying your hair could involve a clarifying shampoo, apple cider vinegar, or anything like that. Uh, for me, I just make sure that my scalp is clean. It could mean I shampoo my hair twice as well. But the main thing is to make sure that your scalp hasn't got anything on there blocking your follicles and hindering growth. So I make sure that my scalp is clean. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video highlighting hair practices that has helped me to be almost waist length having never had long hair before. Thank you so, so much for watching. Do go ahead and check out my playlist section and I will see you in my next video. Take care and bye-bye.